Okay. Rolling 194. We spoke about the pergola already. Okay. Yes, the pergola. You have the rebel and you have the pergola. No? David's pergola. Zion. We're speaking about you have a circle more than 20 amos and he builds a platform in the circle to raise the floor. In Bona Itzta he built it in the center, center of the circle. You have a very large circle, it's from floor to ceiling, it's more than 20 amos. And he builds it in the center. Now, the halach is, we said before, it's irrelevant how high the walls are. Right? Let's see, fill it with earth, the floor. Even if you measure from the outside wall, from the outside of the wall, the floor, the height of the wall could be 50 amos. It's irrelevant. You always measure the height from inside the circle. Correct? Okay. So now, see, so you build a platform within the circle. So, even though beyond the platform it's more than 40, uh, more than 20 amos, it's irrelevant. Okay, now, but factually, so, where is the kosher schach now? Above the platform. But schach alone is not sufficient. You have to have the walls have to touch the schach. So how do, you, how do the walls touch the schach, which is directly over the platform? Correct? So let's say center is the platform. And now if you measure from the wall, from every one of the walls to the platform, it's less than dollar numbers. So that means the wall is based on Dauphin Akuma, touching the schach, which is direct into the platform. Correct? And that's exactly what it says. It's Gemara. If you measure from the wall every side of it to the platform, it's less than Dalai Ramos. Okay? So on top of that platform, you're, you're able to sit. That's a valid sukkah. Above the size of the platform. One second. No, no. no. You can't because beyond it, it's called a wall. That we had this before. You can't sit under a wall. Right? Anything beyond the platform is a wall. Before we spoke about something else, mm -hmm. let's say it be three walls, and the fourth side is nothing. Right? No, no, I'm saying if you're on the regular floor, not the platform, it's more than 20 hours. And right? you, you can't be outside. So you can't be outside. Why can't you be outside? Because what's over your head? A wall's over your head. You can't sit under a wall, you have to sit on the schach. Right? The schach above your head is called wall. It's so not called schach. The part that's kosher is the platform. Is the platform sitting on the platform. Right? Shera Ali. It's the afilo and gavoi yosemi asoro. So it's interesting to me that the dollar almost that's around the platform makes the platform kosher, but the area that the dollar almost actually is is not kosher. Again, I guess that would be interesting to me that the dollar almost makes the platform closer. Not the less than dollar almost. Less than dollar almost around it makes the platform closer. Why does it make it closer? Because it's less than 20 almost. No, no, no. I and it's that. covered Akuma because it's connected. No, it's con the wall is touching the schach. Right. And the platform is considered No, that's the floor of the sukkah. The wall. No, not the platform is connected to the wall. The schach is connected to the wall. The schach is connected to the wall. The halach is the wall has touched the schach. The schach, if you measure from the floor of the schach, it's within 20 hours. Okay. But where are the walls? You don't have any walls. Right? The sukkah is more than just having schach over your head. Let's say it will be four amos on all sides. And from the f platform to the ceiling, to the schach, it's less than 20 hours. Do you have kosher schach over your head? Yes. But it's like building a sukkah without walls, just with supports, and you have schach over your head. It's not valid. You have to have walls. So where are the walls? I understand that. So why does it platform then make the rest, equate the rest of the ground. <coughs> now, again, let's talk about this platform. Less than dollar um, let me explain to you. Yeah. You have to have walls. Now, where are your walls? Where are the walls? The walls have to touch the schach. You're on the platform, schach's within 20 amos. It's kosher schach. Right? But having schach alone is not a dip. You have to have walls for a sukkah. Where are the walls of this sukkah regarding this platform? The walls beyond the platform are more than 20 amos. And, and it's beyond 4 amos. It has no relevance to, to the platform. 
So what gives them relevance to the platform? Because they're within Dalan Amos. Right. So what, if you step beyond the platform, the schach that's overhead, what is that called? Wall? Or was that called schach? It's called a wall. It's a bent wall. Yeah, but I'm asking you, so why does it that center of platform? It's less than dollar almost distance from the platform to the walls. Yes. So all four walls. Right. Okay. Why doesn't that platform unify the floor? Call that now, that is now the floor. That is the floor. It is the floor. So but you just said if you're sitting No, what about if you go? If you go you're not you're not Yote. Right. They step off the platform. What's overhead now? No, we have walls. Yeah, no, no, but what, what do you say? But we said before, it would be valid. Let's say you have the same thing on three sides, and the fourth side is open, right? So if you're off the platform, it's more than but you're yotze, because that was called pesel yotze min right? Because there it's schach. That's called schach. The fourth side is wide open, so that's called schach. Why is it valid? Because it's extending from kosher sukkah that we had earlier. But here, because you need the schach to be called wall, it can't be two things simultaneously. If it's the wall, you can't sit under a wall. That's why you're not yotze. You get to step off the platform. I'm not sure. But what I'm trying I to probably get what you're saying. I'm not sure I'm not getting it. I'm thinking I'm getting it. Okay. Let me explain it again. No, but what I'm saying is, why doesn't the platform... I'm explaining to you. It's very good stuff from, from the scratch. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Let's start from scratch. Okay. The haloch is... The sukkah needs walls and needs tzchach. The walls have to touch the tzchach. Okay, good. So if I have a sukkah, which is more than 20 ounces. Total, complete sukkah. It's not valid. Okay? So how do I rectify it? I put a platform in the sukkah. So let's say I have a three-wall soak of more than 20 hours. The fourth side is wide open. I think we discussed it earlier. I put a platform that touches all three walls. But the schach goes beyond the platform. It extends at least two feet, three feet beyond the platform. On the platform, definitely you would sit. Because the, wall, the platform touches all three walls. So the walls you reckon from the inside, it's within 20 hours, it's a valid soak. Now you step off the platform, you want to sit at the lower level. Are you Yotze? Yes. Why are you Yotze? The Tzach is more than 20 Amos. Right? So why are you Yotze? So we explain because that Tzach extends from a kosher sukkah. It is Tzach. The problem is it's more than 20 Amos. But normally, Tzach more than 20 Amos, it's not considered part of, it's not part of, part of a kosher sukkah. But since this Tzach extends from a kosher sukkah, therefore we see it as part of the sukkah. That's that case. What about a case, our case here? You put, you center the platform. So now, I need, so physically, it's not touching the walls. So how do I, now that I have the schach, which is beyond the platform, is more than 20 amos, and the wall is three feet away from the platform. The walls around this platform are three feet away. Less than dollar amos. Less than, say three feet, four feet away. It's less than dollar amos. So if you measure from the platform to the wall, it's more than three tefachim. It's not lovely. Is it a problem? It's not a problem. Because it's a lochum should we see night. That as long as it's within four amos, we see the ceiling as an extension of the vertical wall. And since that is touching the schach, which is directly aligned with the platform, the wall is touching the schach. Because here, the schach above the, which goes beyond the platform, that has to be converted into wall, otherwise the, the schach on top of the platform doesn't function as a sukkah. Because a sukkah, not only do you need schach, you need walls. So what would the walls of this platform in the center be? What, is, what are considered the walls? Correct? The answer is, if the schach that's beyond the platform is converted from schach into a wall. Now the walls which are beyond the platform, a touching sock, which is aligned with the platform. So now the person wants to sit at the lower level. Could it be Yotze? Definitely can't be Yotze. Because we've converted that sock, which is beyond the platform, had to be converted into a wall, based on the principle of Dauphin Akuma. There's no so, so there's no sock. The case before, 
the platform touched all three walls. The schach extended beyond the platform. What, what's above the pl- beyond the platform? Schach above 20. So normally it's a problem. But here it's not a problem because that schach is extending from valid schach. And it is called schach. It's out of bounds. But out of bounds doesn't bother me because it's extending from a kosher sukkah. The platform that you sent what if that platform was made that it touched? Has to touch three of the walls. Has to touch three. Has to touch three of the walls. Because it's beneath three walls. <coughs> okay. Okay. Perfectly yeah. confused. Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. So the Mechaber, the Mechaber says, we say, Dovin Akuma, Afilu in Gavo Yosem Yasoro. We'll see what the thing is. Even if the platform was more than 10 Tvachim, we, it, we validate it. Vim Yesh Bain, Bain or Lakosa Abramos, Psula, what about if the distance from the vertical wall is four Amos or more? It's possible. Because we no longer say Dovin Akuma. So here you have schach above the platform where they have no walls. Right? The sukkah has to have walls. Afilo et stabo and kavu asura. What's the chiddush of kavu asura? Because there's a machlokus in the Gemara, the way we rule. You know, normally on Shabbos, what's the aloha? I have a post. It's four by four. Four by four. And I throw from Rishus Rabin onto the post. And the post is ten to high. Correct? And you violate Shabbos. Is that considered you transport it from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah? Here, you throw from Rosh Hashanah onto a post which is 10 high with a surface area of 4. Are you, are, you, are you a violation of transporting from public domain to private domain? So the answer is yes. You're a violation. Why? So, the way Rashi learns, because we say when you have the post, the sides of the post are considered walls. So we say, good asik. The object that lies on that surface is enclosed with halachic walls. So the Gemara has a question, so what do we say the same thing for sukkah? Same thing. What do I need, the principle of Dauphin Akuma, to validate the sukkah, the platform, if the platform would be 10th Vachim high, then I need Dauphin Akuma. But if it's 10th Vachim high, it should, it should be valid because the sides of the platform I should extend upward and those vertical walls based on Dauphin Akuma touch the Schach so forget about Dauphin Akuma the answer is because the Mars you need for Sukkah you need the Chitzas the you have to be enclosed with physical walls you have to be enclosed with a wall for Sukkah for Shabbos there is establishing a domain to establish a domain Halakha walls are enough but to be Yotze Sukkah, you have to sit within physical walls. So if you're sitting within a wall which is 10 Tvochim, although the wall doesn't touch the Schach, so you could have Gurasik to extend the wall to touch the Schach. Right? So there, Gurasik is not creating the wall. There, Gurasik is only atta- associating the wall with the Schach. But if you're not sitting within a wall of 10 Tvochim, although you have Gurasik, Gurasik is not going to validate the Sukkah. Of course, Rabbi says you need mechitz and mikoros, and that's what the mechaber is saying here. But if you have the post of even if it's ten, if it's four tefachim, four amos from the wall, it's not a valid sukkah. Although you're sitting on a platform which is ten tefachim in height with an area of seven by seven, because you're not sitting within physical walls. That's the mechaber. The railing around the railing has to be ten tefachim, and, 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 and it's valid, of course. Valid. Sure, and you say gurasik. Okay, let's see the mishnah Burra. Okay. Good. <coughs> he understands that the sukkah you're living in in a, in a re, it's, it's a residence, right? So residence means you have to be enclosed with walls. <coughs> Shabbos is, is you've transferred it to another domain. It's not a halachic residence. Yeah. No, keep the sukkah so shabbat. 
we're commemorating, we live in Sukkot. What is a Sukkot? It's not sitting on top of Shabbos, is, it's transforming domain to domain. But what I'm telling you is my to show. What I'm telling you is the way Rashi knows. The Rambam does learn this way. The Rambam learns that even for he learns that to be a violation of Shabbos, one does not need uh, Gorasik. Here, that's Rashi. That's the Rambam. Chaim shows from the Rambam that the Rambam holds that even though the surface itself is not circumscribed with walls on top, it's still uh, it's still uh, it's still in violation of Shabbos. Because he's of the opinion that anything which corresponds to Rosh Hashayoch is Rosh Hashayoch. If you have a Rosh Hashayoch below and the location above corresponds to it, that's called that's Rosh Hashayoch. For Sukkah, so he only says we have Gorasa is a halak in Sukkah. Understand? Meaning the Torah says you have to sit within walls. Gorasa is only to associate the wall with the sach. The Rama only mentions the concept of Gorasa only in the Sukkah. It doesn't mention it anywhere else. No, because the post itself is ten high. So the post, the surface is different. Shusayochit. Because the sides of the wall come up to the surface. What about above it? When you, the object lands on the on the surface, right? Oh, I see. So the air space above the surface. The air space above the surface is called Rishon Sayyid. Whether there's walls there or not. That's a, that, you don't need the walls. The Rambam. The Rambam only mentions the Gurasik only in regard to Sukkah. In what context? You have walls of ten, but the walls don't touch the schach. So it's not valid. So how do I validate it? Because I have a local machine of a good asik that once you have a wall, I extend the wall upward. It's 10 tochen. 10 tochen. And the surface is 4 by 4 tochen. For sukkah it has to move. For Shabbos? For Shabbos. 4 by 4. 4 by 4 tochen. 4 by 4 tochen. 10 high tochen, surface area of 4 by 4. So Rabbi, when it comes to contamination and dead and dead, if you had a house where you had partial walls, so they were open, so it would be good for good as for sukkah, you know, when you extend out. It leaks out. It leaks out. Sure, it leaks out. Would everybody agree with Every, us? Nobody everybody argues. Would no, everybody nobody say argues. good as sick is sealed? Good as sick doesn't seal it. Doesn't seal it, no, no. Even for the, the, the Rashi and the Correct, correct. Because it's a different concept. To contain tumor, you need physical. It has to be physically contained. Physical. The other is separation. For instance, we had the concept of lechi, a vertical post. You plant, you have a vineyard, you have a wheat field, and you put a lechi, just a, a vertical post, tenth focum high. Doesn't it's not a fence which separates One the fold. vineyard from from the from the from the wheat field. Sufficient. That's sufficient. You've separated the two. You uh, put a mechitza there. Halachic mechitza. Or I'll give you an example of. Why does that work? It's like you draw it across. Like you have a halacha, you extend something upward, a lechi extends itself across. It's considered you've separated between the two the two locations. The wheat field and the vineyard are separated. So there's no kalayim. It's not kalayim. There's no way, even though physical, no, even though physically they intermingle. Right. Torah says you just have to discern between the vineyard with the wheat field. That's enough. Because the halacha is when you put a fence between the two of them. They actually they, they they actually nourish one another under the fence. You don't have to put the fence deep into the ground. And there's a halacha also. I mean, there are many halachas. I'm not sure how we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him, right? He's, he's the expert in killing. Killing means it's all mixed up. Okay. So now, <laughs> <laughs> let's say you have a fence. You build a fence, and the fence falls down. And you have in mind you're going to reconstruct the fence, but you need to get around to it yet. And it takes you six months to get around to it. So in the meantime, they're nourishing from one another. It's not kalayim. Because since initially there was a fence, and the fence fell down, and you're planning to reconstruct it, and there wasn't just enough time to put it back, they're still considered separated. The post is still there. Even though there's nothing there, there's nothing, nothing there. There's nothing there. Right? No, Marcus is something. Mark is for something else. Mark is, yeah, that's something else. 
Let's say it's something that's, that's dangerous. That's a danger issue. This is species in your hands and you throw it in, you plow and you throw it onto the ground. That's called planting two species together. Nobody argues. That definitely. Now here we're talking about the proximity of one to the other because they nourish them from one another. Well, the wind blows over. Uh, no, whatever. So there the Torah says you have to separate the vineyard from the wheat field. Right? Here, the other case is speaking where you're planting two species together. Torah says they have, each one has to have, retain its own identity. So it's, it's a different concept. One is planting, and one is because they're within the proximity of one another. So even though they nourish one another, and ultimately there is a result of that, as long as you discern between the two of them, that's sufficient. Yes. Um, See, with, let me explain you something. With the wheat field and the vineyard, factually, the species doesn't change. It's just tinged with some of the other. The other you're creating in the entity. It's a, a, a new species is created. This concept of the pizza separating agricultural products, applying, for example, if I've got a lemons on the one side and oranges on the other side. Yes, yes. It's not just wheat. No, no, no that was, that's, that's the whole discussion. I mean, are you permitted? Do you have to separate from lemons and oranges? And you don't. It's only specifically, the, it's called cloya carrot. Kerem speaks specifically a wheat, uh, a vineyard, a vineyard and a wheat field. That's the Gorisa. That's the whole thing. Okay, it's a whole separate discussion. You, you yeah. can have a you can plant a vegetable garden in the backyard with all different kinds of vegetables would not be a problem. As long as you don't crossbreed the, the seed itself. Correct. You can put tomatoes in this corner. Right, yeah, even though, yeah. Like you have a little plop of the herbs, different kinds of herbs in the same plop. That would not be a problem. I'm not sure how close they have to be. If let's say they're planted right next to one another, it may be a problem. You put two seeds next to one another. Of course, it says if you take something from the Phobos Yad, you take a handful of seeds, mix it, and just throw it. Well, I think these are, these are um, <coughs> plantings. They're not seeds themselves. Shrubs. Little, they're the little, the little shoots. Shoots, I'm saying. Okay. It's not seeds. We'll get there. We have to consult with the expert. 